Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of Rotunda Report. I'm Devin Martin, the Grassroots Outreach Coordinator for the State Bar of Wisconsin. And today we'll be talking a little bit about grassroots advocacy, how you as an attorney can help make change happen. So as many of you are aware, the State Bar of Wisconsin has a government relations program where we lobby and advocate on behalf of policy positions uh, in our state capital. Those policy positions are chosen by our elected board of governors and are designed to help protect the legal profession as well as expand access to justice for all Wisconsinites. Some of the policy priorities that we have currently and have advocated on in the past previous sessions uh, include ju criminal justice reform, things like reforming expungement laws in Wisconsin, moving toward a cashless bail system, juvenile justice issues like courtroom shackling and returning 17 year olds to the juvenile justice system, as well as updating exoneree compensation laws. They also include a strong emphasis on funding the entire justice system, things like uh, making sure we have adequate civil legal aid for Wisconsinites, increasing the private bar rate paid to private bar attorneys who take criminal defense cases, and ensuring adequate investment throughout the entire justice system, including new positions for staff, pay progression, and expanding courts when it is necessary to do so. To give you an example of the success that we've had in the past previous session, uh, you can take a look at the most recent Budget Act, which includes a, an increase to the private bar rate from $40 to $70 an hour, a huge historic increase, as well as positions for 60 new prosecutors across Wisconsin and pay progression for them, and a bill that is going to increase the number of district courts in Wisconsin uh, by 12. So at this point, you may be asking, how do I as an attorney get involved in these efforts? That's a great question and we're here to answer it. So one of the things that you can do is call me up. My number is 608-712-5509 and you can ask me about what the State Bar is doing uh, in our capital and how you can get involved. However, I can't answer phone calls from all 24,000 plus members of the State Bar so one of the things that we've developed is online tools that allow our members to get more involved in the process and contact their elected officials. It's really, really simple and I'll show you how we do it. So all you have to do is go to a browser, type in wisbar.org forward slash gov relations, hit enter, and it will bring you to our government relations webpage which has our Advocacy Network Action Center. From here, you can figure out what bills we're working on uh, and where they're at in the legislative process, whether we support or oppose them. So you can see some of the ones that are listed here. These are all state bar um, policy priorities that we are currently working on. You can also figure out what our current action alerts are. Uh, the example that we have currently is a bill on expungement reform, Senate Bill 39, uh, and we're working to try to uh, reform expungement here in Wisconsin. To show you how easy it is for you to get involved, uh, I'll just show you, you plug in your address as well as your zip code, and it will automatically match you up to the relevant lawmakers that you can contact about this issue. Uh, in my example, I live in Madison, so my senator is Fred Risser, uh, you'll see a pre-written message about the issue, which you can take the time to personalize. Sending personalized messages are always more effective than sending a form email. However, if you don't have time, it only takes a few seconds to send a form email, and that indeed does have an impact. You can also use our tools to send an automatic tweet, as well as place a phone call to your elected officials on an issue. One of the reasons why this is so important is because it's effective. We've seen measurable success with our grassroots advocacy work in the past legislative session. And from this graph, you can see that while lobbying has a very positive impact on lawmakers in terms of how they perceive an issue and how they're going to vote on it, hearing from their constituents directly, and particularly hearing from attorneys in their district who uh, are writing in and calling 
about issues that affect the legal profession has a much more measurable impact. Uh, the other reason it's important is because using the advocacy network allows this, us as the state bar to coordinate our efforts and to amplify the voice of the legal profession across the state. Uh, it allows us to know where we still need to reach out to members to talk to lawmakers who have not been contacted on a particular issue, as well as where the majority of support from attorneys like you is coming from so that we can potentially set up meetings uh, or in-district um, events with lawmakers that allow them to hear your voice directly. So that's a really brief um, overview of our program. There's a lot more that I would love to talk to you about. If you have questions, you can contact this guy, me, at dmartin at wispar.org or give me a call. My number is 608-712-5509. And I'd love to talk to you about our program. Uh, while you're here, though, don't forget to subscribe to the bi-weekly newsletter of our government relations program, Rotunda Report. You can do so at wispar.org forward slash rotunda. And follow us on Twitter at SBW Rotunda Report uh, or SBW Rotunda RPT uh, on Twitter and keep in touch with what we're doing. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you next time.